tell you one thing and please believe me water has never tasted so good <clears throat> I started drinking it at 12 o'clock last night <clears throat> and the first thing I noticed was the sweet taste of water and a lot of the the ancient stories that I would read I would hear people talk about the sweet water and people wanting particular water from particular places because the water had a taste and 
I am here to tell you that after three days of not drinking water, water is one of the best tasting things I have ever had. As a matter of fact, right now there's a lingering sweet taste in my mouth. And I'm like, yo, I mean, I haven't, ne I never noticed this. This is my third year uh, with the dry. I think with the dry, this might be my second. This might be my third year doing the three days dry. But this time, the water is alive. The water is very sweet. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, um, is it because we're surrounded with water all the time that we don't, you know, at least where we are? We don't get to really appreciate the 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 good taste of water. Shit, I was amazed. I'm still I'm still drained, but the water is just. And I was like, damn, is it because of the 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 copper thing that I'm drinking it out of, or um? So I just took a little bit from a bottle. I'm like, damn, shit. I even tried some sink water. I was like, you know, I could taste the difference, but I'm like, Ugh, this water's still good. So, family, um, like I said, today we're going to be doing our toast and talk. So, we're going to go knock this toast out because I don't know how long I'm going to be able to, to, to get the energy up. Maybe if some of y'all call in, we get the energy popping off. But we are open to discuss whatever it is. That is on your mind. I'm going to go to the Geometry Journey timeline. But first off, I want to welcome you to the place where your muscle, where your hustle builds muscle. The home of the stubborn minority, also known as the congregation of the mighty. You are now tuned into to Geometry Journey Media. Come on, anime. Let's try it again. Geometry Journey Media. Media. Are you fasting too? Anime? Oh, okay. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you slide then, but you still need to get it out. Come on now. This is a heart of a symbol production. Daily toast, and of course you know we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. I know I'm only on water right now, so um, uh, those that bear with me while I was stumbling and shit through the um, through our regular thing, because you know going dry, man, it's like you see a whole nother reality. But once again, uh, in the future, there will be a lot of changes popping off. All right, so um, I want y'all to get ready for that. All right, because. Um, of course, we're going to continue doing the Daily Toast, but it, it, it may be a little bit different because I'm, a, I'm starting a course um, to try to find a way to make this sustainable, right? I mean, because like I said, um, I would do it. I, I've been doing it for free, but I have all, I have everything that I need to generate some income from what we are doing right here, right now. And I want to get the skills so that I can help other people because we got older people out here that uh, may need to be able to generate some income. And we got younger people coming up that we're going to have to have a system in place where we could at least help them um, be able to start generating some income. You know, because we already know that uh, with the automation coming in and with the way uh, things are popping off in the world, we may not have many of the uh, opportunities or our young people might not have the opportunities that um, the boomer class and, and Generation X, my generation, had coming up. So we need to go on and find ways where they are able to sustain themselves. But anyway, some of the stuff we could talk about today. Um... Uh, uh, Brother Renee Triggs graduated yesterday. Shots out. Shots out. 
Um, I went to it, but family, I love my people. But when I'm fasting, I can't be around there because that shit, man. I mean, we was in the church. Motherfuckers was standing up on the pews. You know, you know, uh, take it. I mean, it, it, I was like, oh, the energy was like, oh. And I was just sitting in the back trying to chill and I was trying to make it. I'm like, oh. And I didn't get to make it to when Brother Renee had the opportunity to speak or I would have had it taped and, and put up here. Hopefully somebody got it and we could share it with the family. Um, but I was like, oh my God, look at my, my people, oh my people, Lord have mercy. I mean, if I, and I was sitting up there, I said, if I, if one more, if one more man walked by me pulling his pants up, <clears throat> I, um, I, I, I might just, I might just go post in this motherfucker, even though I wouldn't be able to do nothing, you know, but raise my hand and shit, be like, help, you know, but we're proud of the brother. He did his he did his damn thing, see. And some people been picking up for me. Um, there's a video I got on here: being poor costs more. That rhyme, um, real good video. Uh, uh, my my auntie's checking on me. <laughs> they say you 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 look you look tired. Was was my nephew sleepy today? Ah uh, man, the, I'm fasting, family, so I'm going through it. Uh, some um, smoke screens that are up. They got asteroids coming at the Earth, the size of a football field and stuff like that. Um, America, uh, U.S. commander says America forces face in, imminent threat from Iran. So we know what that's about. Columbus City Attorney wants to keep more nonviolent offenders out of jail. I just got a post. That uh, Bexley, the Bexley school system is banning electronic equipment like phones and tablets and stuff out of the classroom. You know, those are, those are things that we could talk about, right? But before that, before that, of course, y'all know what we gather here for. We're here right now to go on and celebrate and, and um, toast our ancestors. So... Since I'm only doing water, I'm going to bring the last little bit of my water up. I'm going to pour it. Next week, we back on that ambrosia. And uh, any, other, any other drinks that I want, I'm back on my broth. So my energy will start increasing. But I, I appreciate y'all for bearing with me as I go through this struggle. Um... So I put up the call-in lines um, right after we get done with our toast. So first, give an honor to the Creator by whatever name you choose to call it. Creator, we pull our we we lift our glass and we toast that Creator by whatever name you choose to call that Creator. And we say Ashe. From there, family, we move to our list of our ancestors, and we start off. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robin of Texas, Anna Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia Winnie Walter, Krista Penny Gasson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Aunt Fiend, Cleveland and Geneva Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Alvaro Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown II, Barbara Twiggs, Wash Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Fillard, Montague Pittman L., Normal X, Sepet Mark Ra, Malika Pacor, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamal, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Elder Ajani, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alfred Bro Pro Ector Jr., Jay Edwards, Carlisle Harris, Grace Lundy, Grace Lundy, Inez Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek L. Pullian, The Luxter Brothers, Miss Edith Brooks Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Mr. Alonzo Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Kel Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Triggs, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Tanya Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Rennerman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend James Smith, Lois Henderson, Kevin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Kellen D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Del Hodge, Melvin Del Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beattie, Sel Well, Levita Farmer, Agosa Sue, 
Shel Harvey, our Charmaine, our Evelyn, Theolis Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Leonard Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thornton, Pearl G. Thornton, Nadia Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thornton, Erica Tricia Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther Keechela Reese, Linda Watson Hammonds, Jarrell Giles Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Seven Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hitter Pearson, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton, Novena Hall, Freeman Bankster, Mae Moss, Ophelia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kenty, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quails, Urania Thornton, Bernice Quails, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, S.E. Johnson, Delrita Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry World, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hallie Levester, Mary Molin, Paul Morland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martineer, Elder Amitab Wellman, Fred Douglas Triggs Sr., Thelma Triggs, Thomas and Lula Berry, Lacey and Eleanor Howe, Frank and Russell Davis, Fred Douglas Triggs II, Vena Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy, Debbie Russell. Give me by Aries, Gene and Ruth Jones, Jana Callahan, William Walter West, Nigel Paris, Elder Basigi Fulani, Jim Robinson, Gladys Johnson, Valerie Clark, John and Mary Sullivan, Dirk Johnson, Antonio Johnson, Delise Waters, Defridis Hines, Inez Bostic, Edna Bostic, Winifred Scannerberry, Wilson Headley, Emma Hines, Phyllis Lee, Eugene Spratling, Calvin Spratling, Charles Wooden, Penny Brown, Roy Lee Printup, Jr., Miriam Johnson, Wilbert Longmire, Edith Catney, Janice Carter, Michael Carter, Leon Peanut Carter, Margaret Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan, Charles Lee Mosley, Dorothy R. Blair, Ransom Evan Sr., Sam Evan Sr., Nalon Blair Sr., Edward Stevens, Sue Ann Stevens, Joe Davis, Timothy Butler, Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, Warren M. Finch, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingalls, Audrey Finch, William Billingsley Jr., Jennifer Sensenball, Hazel Gatsy, Jerry Brantley, Brian Watson Jr., Kaniko Parsons, Jason Kathy Bradford, Thomas Bradley, also known as Uncle Buki, also known as Gypsy, Reverend Roosevelt Word I, Stacy Trite, Stacy Trice, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Michael Leonard, David Brown, Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth Cox, Paula Cox, Ronald Irvin, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Francis Boots Jefferson, Dan Wilkinson Sr., Emma McClendon, Jerry Doyle, Amina Robinson, Mary Nichols, Patricia Williams, Shabraka Torre, Greg G. 2 Gibson, Donna Hill, Richard Gleavis, Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Wood Irby, Jim Gauche, George and Hallie Johnson, Archie and Margaret Armstead, Diane Scott, Erica Armstrong, Claire Fox, Jean Evans, Archie Beck, Anna McGill, Charles McDaniel, Christine Cottrell, I'm Becca, Alice Arnold, Arthur, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, Eula and Andrew Baker, Patricia and Edwin Brooks, Gwendolyn and Bob Hatch, Kimball, Vernon, Bradley Kim, Janie, Harriet Tubman Cates, Spencer Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Creola Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron Nino Baby Hatch, Hatch Sr., Mally Miller, Housie Hatch, Dad Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Alex Nixon, John Bowie, Lester and Rachel Saunders, Dorita Ross, Viola Ross, Robert Nelson, Francis Stevenson, Leroy Stokes, Neely Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Maddie and Charlie Scott, Anna Casey, Thomas Kofer, Vivian Stevenson, Mona Ann Lewis, Mona Ann Lewis, Cornetta Lyman Lewis, 
John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, Mary Francis, Chappelle Jackson, Michael Slade, Joanne Perkins, Richard Jackson, Martha Ford Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harrison, Margaret Towns, Mary Williams, Leroy Q. Heath Sr., Albert Moore, Miss Vanilla, Alice Motley, Geraldine Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, Earlton Houston, Lud Alls, Elijah Alls, Jerome Alls, Henry West Staten, Joe, Jamel Alls, Ann Pierce, Donald Carter, Lily Green, Nathan Green, Beth Vaughn, John Dewey, Ruth Beard, Tim Butler, Ramey, Laura Newton, J.B. Foggy, Thomas Newton Sr., Baba Naeem, Jeanette Sanders, Jerry C. Sanders, Roy Pruitt, H.J. Bradley Sr., Henry Wilson, Rufus Jenkins, Minnie Wilson, Catherine Sanders, Morel Ellis, Elizabeth Sanders, Henrietta Irby, Mildred Armstead, Margaret Armstead, Catherine Anthony, Ruby Brown, Charles Walker Sr., Charlie Walker, Cecil Russell, Diane Hervin, Haroon Phillips, William Ford, Margaret Logan, Phyllis Barnett, Lee Irvin Sr., Michael Irvin, Ozella Watson, Hugo Watson, John Caldwell Sr., Robbie Lee Caldwell, Navea Mitchell, Ron McCormick Sr., Sabrina Easley, Rayshawn Easley, Javea McCormick, Barbara Ann Reed, Dorothy Ann Reed, John Reed, Shekamaha Reed Jr., John Reed Jr., Patricia Reed, Edward R. Benson Sr., Ethel H. McNair, Lois Fernandez, Jacqueline Broadus, Reginald Oliver, Mazarin Cooper, George Swan, Edmonia Grayson, Charles Scott, Charles H. Scott, Michael Morgan, Charlene Morgan, Sybil Edwards McNabb, Annie Ferguson, William Ferguson, Shelby McClendon. On to our black book. Joella Giles, James Carswell, Liberta Adams, also known as Aunt Sis, Elder Shaka McNair, Anthony Brown, Jonathan Ford, Lottie Gaucher, Cousin Tony, Michael Johnson, James Jimmy Johnson, Barbara Shane Lewis, Ronald Shelton Jr., Damian Top, Westina Banks, Joseph Bingham, Quincy, Mama, Aunt Lady, Abraham Isaac Cundiff, Aunt Barbara Lewis, Renee Johnson, Joy Ryan Ross Riggins, Jermonte, Marcus Price, Ness Words, Marshawn McCarroll, Demetrius Beard, Herb Jefferson, Ralph Mickens, Eric Walker, Quasi Sample, Candace Simmons, Severin Clayton, Leonard Jones, Sade Garner, Melvin Scott Sr., Elder Clarence Lumpkin, Elizabeth Johnson, Frank Smith, Stacy Trice, Denisa Gore, Nathaniel Hassan Turner, Khalid Isin, Nigel Turner, Albert Woods, Geneva Simmons, Demetrius Lewis Flint, Daniel Daniel Tilly, Angeline Gant, Sharifa, Oscar Kane, Audrey Gripper, Dominique Nichols, Ruth Elaine Johnson, and Teresa Sambu. We raise up our glass and we salute all of our ancestors that combine us as a tribe and protect us and guide us with wisdom. And all we got to do is be open to seeing where our ancestors are working in our lives. So we lift up our glass and we salute our council of ancestors, right? We salute our family members that have going on. And we salute them once again and we say our shame. From their family, we move on to the present moment. <clears throat> Realizing the power of the present moment, we utilize this power of the present moment to keep our pact with our ancestors to never forget, the, never forget them, to lift them up and salute them, right? Um, and to uh, um, use their wisdom to better improve where we are right now. We don't have to continue making the same mistakes. We have our ancestors' mistakes to learn from and to be able to, to grow from. And be able to make different decisions that will put us in a different place. But also in this moment, we have a pact with our future generations. And in this moment, we need to be doing the work that is necessary so that we could clear the land for them. So that we could make space and make time for them to move into their greatness and build their pyramids to greatness. 
All right. So we we salute this moment. And in this moment, we are in Kaumba. So I'm, act, I'm asking everybody to activate your reticular formations. Activate those reticular formations, family. Right? And we're going to hunt. We're putting a price out. We're looking for Kaumba. Right? Find a Kaumba. And we're going to take pictures of it. We're going to videotape it. We're going to do audios about it. Talking about our principle on this day. And we're going to share it. On our Giami Journey timeline, right? Um, also on your timeline as well. But for those that don't speak the language, language Kaumba means creativity. Order is the modic principle of the day. Um, orange is the color. I was able to find my orange shirt. Cause and effect is the hermetic law of the day. Male name is Kwame. Um, shouts out to all the Kwames out there. Female name is Ama. Shouts out to all the Amas. We raise our glass in this moment and we salute and we say, Ashe. From there, family, we move on and we move to our children. Our children's children on to infinity. We salute future generations, right? In this continuum, right? Um, and, and, and we salute them in advance, knowing, knowing that by us remembering them in advance or pre-remembering them, right? We are, in a sense, priming them so that they will be able to successfully build and then also toast us when we are no longer here. You know what I'm saying? And then also realizing that we're generational people. So we're going to come back. So in a sense, when we toast to the future generation, we also toast in ourselves. Hopefully we'll come back with a little bit more know-how. When we make our make when we make our transition and come back to this mug, right? Usually through our bloodline. So we lift up our glass and we salute. We say our shay from their family. We move on to all of our relations and we want to toast them. We lift them up and we say our shay. By the way, shouts out to brother Shaka C. L. Hansberry. I see you out there, my brother. Thank you for posting up. Um, also, from 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 all of our relations. We're going to move to that selfish toast. What is it that you need in this moment, family? To go to that next level, right? Move to that greatness so that you can knock out some of these obstacles. Because I know they're out there, right? We lift it up and we say, I say, from their family, where do we go? Of course, we move to toast the most magnificent, uplifting, outstanding, inspirational, um, wisest individual in the room. Don't look around. I'm talking about you. I'm toasting you. I salute you. And we say, I say, I say, I say. Family, I wish you peace, power, joy in 100 years. I'm going to drink up. I want some more of this sweet water. Man, I have to. When I, when I, when I finished and I woke up at 12. I need some water, so I got up, got my water, so I'm able to drink, and I had to look to make sure, you know, that my, my children ain't put no sugar in the bottom of my, I mean, this water is so sweet, I'm trying to get y'all to understand, right, you know, because this might be an experience that some people need to go through, because family, I don't know what we, you know what I'm saying, we missing something, because this water is good as hell, I'm sitting up here, it's copper sweet? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I'm, well, whatever is working. So, family lines are open. I'm going to open the lines. 614-556-4535. We can talk about what's ever on your mind. You ask me any questions. Some of y'all might be interested in doing it, um, a 21-day challenge. Yours don't have to be fast, and it could be other things, and I can help you construct your pyramid, and that's going to be coming out real soon, right? So I'm going to walk you through, um, get you to understand the importance of changing the day names, like today for us, those that speak the language is Kaumba, and, um, you know, just, you know, just making that mind shift, right? Because one of the reasons I, one of the reasons that I incorporated the dry fast after I found out about it was that, you know, uh, first off, just the 21 day fast. People are like you can't do that. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Now, I'm just I'm just a little bit tired. You know what I'm saying? 
And in a sense, I am practicing for death. I'm practicing to see how it feels when I get older, right? Do I want to be moving around like this, right? Is there certain things that I can add to my regimen right now to help prevent me from being um, as lack of energy like this? So I'm practicing, practicing dying. I'm practicing getting older because it's something that can't be avoided, right? Then my body is my body is having an opportunity to rest, right? And in resting, right, family, the next year, boom, because I got there's a lot of stuff that's popping off. So first off, I wanted as as a Giami man, I wanted to defy what other people say that you can't do. You know, after 14 days, you're supposed to be dead. What? Come on now. And all of us know people in our community that have done fast fasting longer than I have. And then they say three days without water. I did three days without water. Right? Three days without water. And it's like, boom, you're supposed to be dead. But I'm not dead. I'm standing right here before you. I'm a little bit tired. You know what I'm saying? But it's still me. And I'm still here. And what I'm trying to tell you is a lot of the limits. Right? A lot of the limits that have been placed on you. Right? A lot of limits are just, just motherfuckers. They, they make stuff up to keep you in your place. And what I'm telling you is your place is a little bit higher than the box that they have put you in. Because if I could do it, almost anybody out there can do it. And I know some of y'all have some health issues and we could work around the health issues as far as the challenge. But like I said, the challenge just is not about fasting. The challenge is if you have something that you want to start or something you want to start and it works in, in, a, in a fashion that you can apply it to anything in your life. So I'm just throwing it out there. Just throwing that out there. So um, um, if there's any, any things that y'all want to talk about. Matter of fact, let's play a musical interlude. Y'all know what song I'm going to play. Y'all know what song I'm going to play. Don't even act Don't even act like you don't know. Alright? Well, some of y'all might be new. But um, I received a piece of music from um, one of my brothers. And I've been, you know, I've been, I've been vegging out on it ever since. Alright? So just you know, just to let y'all know, I'm I'm burning it up, right? And um, I'm, I, I love I love when my brother shine, right? So let's go on and as um, soon as I can get this up, it's moving slow like me, moving slow like brother I tell you, you know, brother I tell you. Mm -hmm. Good grief. Damn. All right, so I'm going to have to update my computer eventually, but it is what it is. But I'm going to give y'all time. Y'all still got time for those that may want to call in, like, and share. Here we go. There we go. Right there. Come on. Come on. What's the date? Oh, this will be dropping tomorrow, by the way. Can you open up those curtains and let some light in here, please, sir? My voice is even lighter. You know what I'm saying? Because usually I just be able to snap out of command and shit. Now I got to think about that shit. But right now, I'm at a point where Cleve might be able to take my ass out. You know? I don't want to don't want to get don't want to get a young a young warrior an opportunity. Um, we need to get out there and um, water those plants. And when I say we, you know what I mean. But I'm not yet, because I want to go out there because I want to pick some stuff off and I want to aerate 
the soil. I'm, I'm going to give y'all a picture of our garden um, on, on our Facebook. I'm still waiting for the, the thing, so I'm stalling. I'm waiting for the thing to come up. I'm going to drink a little bit more water. But the lines are open, fam. We can have a discussion. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! One of the one of the superstars, Giame, has called in, and she just got back from a trip to Washington D.C. and maybe she got some information to share with us. So I'm gonna put her up on here real quick. Um, do you want to you want to you want to start the conversation now, or do you want want me to play the musical interlude first, my dear? really called me to ask a question because it sounded real quiet on here. It's not usually quiet on here. You say who? I said I called to ask a question. It's, it's not usually this quiet. Go ahead. Where's everyone at? Oh. Um, so, I... Go ahead. Are you talking about as far as my house or people, period? People, period. The line is empty. Yeah. I mean, but you know, we go through phases. And, uh, you know, I'm okay. gra- I'm grateful that you was listening. I'm grateful that you are concerned about that, you know. So maybe, uh, like I said, we need to get family liking and sharing. But like I said, I'm working on some stuff. And uh, you're going to be the first one to see the stuff that I'm working on. Because I hooked up with um, a brother that's doing the exact same thing that we're doing, right? But he's doing it in, on a mm-hmm. level that... He's able to not only support himself, but help other people support themselves. And I see it, and, I, and you okay. know, I've been, been watching it over the last three years. And um, so we're about to move to the next level with Giame. So get ready. But go ahead. Uh, so when is the next meeting? Ours? Well, actually, yeah. we were supposed to meet today, but I wouldn't, I'm not... I'm not in any shape to conduct a meeting unless somebody else was going to step up and do it. Um, so we might have to meet either next Kuumba or we could meet the Kuumba after that. But me and you, we well, got... Kuumba after that, is, um, is, are we going into the uh, mall for that? Oh, the mall next is... Next Kuumba is the 15th. Mm. Is that right? Next school was the fifteenth, and then right. the one after that is the twenty second. Right, and then the one after that is the 29th. So right. we, so so the twenty second, I'll be gone to um, for Simpson, and then the twenty ninth, guys, be gone for Simba. Uh, you say what? The twenty second. I should I I should be gone for Simsa and the following week the guy should be gone for Simba. Oh man. Alright. Alright, that's new for me. So when is the camp here? That's in July. I wanna I don't know the exact date, but I just wanna say around the middle of July, like around the fourteenth or something like that. Hold on, hold on for a second. Sasha and Gina. Why don't y'all put on some, go put on some lotion and put on some clothes. It's real life here at Jamie Journey. Put on some clothes. I think lotion. All right, but, um, but dang, so y'all going to be gone during the mall. Who? Mm-mm-mm. Me. All right, so we're going to work that out. But um, was that the question you wanted to ask? Yeah, just enough. When, to get back on track, like you said, I've been out of town, so I just want to, you know, get back into the flow of what the calendar is looking like for us. Um, but no, actually for the mall, the girls will be back because the mall is the 29th. Yes. So the girls will be back for the 29th. Um, some of the boys they have only coming to the Ohio camp. Right. So it still happens. Okay. I mean, it's going to go down, you know, we're going to make it work. But anyway, we got, uh, brother Kwame that just joined us on the line. What's up, Brother Kwame? Hey, Kwame. Uh, you ain't kicking your speaker. Uh, you ain't kicking the speaker. Say again. You're not kicking your speaker, Kwame. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, I'm I'm slow. I'm slow on the uptake, sir. That's all right. 
I know you are a little uh, undernourished. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, remember, June fifteenth is the uh, the um, how we meet. Oh shit. Oh. Oh shit. The 15th or the 16th, Kwame? 15th. 15th. <laughs> One so, five. Okay. So that's next week. So we will have to push the meeting. Well, then you said you won't be here on the 22nd. Well, we shall. We're going to have to have it happen on the 22nd. And then and then have them all on the 29th. So I'll miss one, but not the other. Okay. So it's like the guys miss one and not the other. Okay. Um, What's going on the Second. Well, we was talking about having the warrior meeting because we were supposed to have one today, but I wasn't going to be, I'm not, I mean, I could be there. <laughs> I could be there, you know what I'm saying? But that's about, that's about it because I'm sitting up here thinking like, because we got the uh, per arm tomorrow and I'm like, damn, I don't even know if I'm going to make that, man, because I'm sitting up here like... You know, I'm because I'm 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 back on the water, but my energy is like ah, I gotta get out here in the sun. I'm gonna get out here in the sun and, and work with these plants a little bit and see if that helps. Um, but you also asked a question. Um, we uh, I haven't heard from Sister Tiandra or Brother Nubli, uh Brother Nubis. Um, so if y'all out there know that um, um, the, the 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 concern is here. Want to make sure you're all right. Oh, so did you didn't get to join the crew at the Dirty Bat? No, bro, I couldn't go to the Dirty Bat. I couldn't go to the old Dirty. No, hell no. I will. I will celebrate with Brother Renee at another time, but I couldn't. No, listen, I couldn't even make it through the ceremony. Cause look, I mean, look, man, shoot, I didn't even get in the door, man. Shoot. Now, first of all. Um, I didn't tell you, you know, in, in my 21 day challenge, I done stretched, uh, overstretched the muscle in my hip. So I can hardly walk, right? Okay. <laughs> but, but, you know, this was a special event. So I was going to, you know, just see if I could do the ceremony. Man, they had me out there standing, <laughs> standing, and they basically said, well, that's all, folks. <laughs> that was my like, hey. Dude, listen, it was so packed up in there, and it was so black that, I mean, it, it was only so much that I could take, man. I mean, I, like I said, man, I, I was like, I said, I better not see another man walk past me pulling up his goddamn pants. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, my look, God. Look, look, look. Yeah, yeah, look. So, you know, uh, Elder Ori Piaki was out there with me, and he was And, uh... Mm. You know, I said, you know, the one good thing about this is that they tell us how we don't value education. And, you know, I, I don't I don't know if that's necessarily true from <laughs> from, from the celebration that, that I see taking place here. But uh, but secondly, man, so Charlotte and I are standing in line or well, hell, there ain't no line, right? We just standing outside the door wait, trying to see if we can get in. And uh, I'll be doggone if some sister didn't just damn near knock me. Not, again, I, you know, I got my cane, right? Right. Not, not my blind, not even my blind man cane. I got my lipping cane, right? So, and this sister just rolled by me. And I mean, I think she took her hip and damn near knocked me into the street. <laughs> they don't give a... And I looked at Charlotte. Charlotte looked at me and she was like, yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, then, hey. I all... Was, you know, if that, was, if that was all, man, I'd say, okay. But then, so I let, you know, I have one of those uh, uh, walk, uh, walking canes that, you know, has four legs to it or four feet to it. So it can stand on its own, right? Right. So, so I leave her standing there for a moment, and, uh, you know, uh, I may have, you know, wiped my face or something like that. I went to grab it again, and the sister's butt was where my cane should have been. Uh. So I'm all on this behind. <laughs> and, you know, check this out, though, man. 
I think she liked it. Ah, you over here getting free feels and shit. Over to the left, baby. Over to the left. <laughs> See, man, I think, I think, man, I think we'll be taking advantage of his blind man. <laughs> I feel wanted. Thank you, bro. What, <laughs> what's your name? Get Charlotte all. Get Charlotte all. Get get her to use some of that training, man. But yo, also we got on the line. We got brother uh, Shaka who has been waiting patiently. Uh, uh-uh, I ain't touching that. You want to do the best you can. My my daughter is. See, this is what I'm saying, man. I be fasting. My kids don't. I, I guess they don't understand. My daughter sitting up here eating a mango, bringing the point and putting the mango in my face. Talking about, can you pull the seed out, baby? You better eat around that damn seed. I'm not touching that damn mango. What's wrong with you? We on day. We on day thirteen. You lucky I don't eat your little black ass. You you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Season my greens with you. You can keep on playing with me. But go ahead, Shaka. You over the line. What's going on, my friend? I'm just tuning in, man. You know, I very seldom these days get an opportunity to. We got one more week of this, this production. Today we got a... Uh, man, today we got a gala. Am I saying it right? Is it a gala or a gala? Uh, either way. Tomato, tomato, tomato. Right here. Yeah. But we got a gala today, and it's two hundred and fifty dollars a ticket. I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to wear for these people because they all gonna want to talk to cats and all of that. So right. Where where yeah. where what you got? We're going somewhere. Is where, that what it is? Well, I mean you. I mean you. You can only wear what you got. I mean just look good and do right. it because they're coming to see the character. You know you after the show. You know what I'm saying? That you you're just a stand in for the character. They're coming to see the character. You're gonna be dressed up all day in your costume. So what you have on afterwards will not matter as much as your performance on stage. If you knock it out on, in right. a performance on stage, well, you know what? You, you know what kind of got me perplexed, man, is that the theme, the theme is a night in Egypt. So with people in there, that's that's like you know, that's that's, that's gonna show up. Oh, I'm a, I'm gonna wear a turban. I'm not wearing, uh, you know. <laughs> well, just, why don't you just keep on? Why don't you just keep on your uh, outfit? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, no, my, I'm, my my villain costume. Nah, I'm a, I, I'm a, I'm gonna be all right. I got some formal stuff, you know. No, but the, check that, check it. Uh, do you have? Now you're an artist, so you may understand. This may translate. You know, uh, you may understand what I'm trying to say. Do you have something that such a character would wear today? Ah. Uh, yes. Yes, I do. I think I think that would I think that would work. That's what it is, then. I already know I already know what piece it is. Uh oh. See that? That's it, what it is. That's what family do. That's what tribe do. Joe Barry asks, yeah. when is the next event? The next event is on June 29th. That's the next mall. So spread the word for me, brother Joe. Spread the word. I'm I'm trying to I'm 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 about to start um I'm going to start fermenting the tea. I'm I'm on um um I'm about to get the tea ready and uh so I will yeah. be in full I'm production. About to do for my Kwame. You say what you do for your Kwame? I got I'm, you. I'm about to do for my Kwame, and uh, I'm I'm, look, I'm still looking for the sister with the Jinyame keychain. No, nobody nobody responded on that one, but she'll be at this mall. Don't but, worry about it. Yeah, sister, my aunt said that uh, you know she, you know, she thought that she uh, you know could get it, but I haven't heard back from her yet, so. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, uh, y'all, y'all down in Columbus, y'all haven't connected you, with no, uh, with no fabrication laboratory, huh? No. Man, let me tell you something. Fabrication laboratory. Um, 3D, 3D print. printers, feral scanners. Mm-hmm. If you watch the, if you watch the movie Big Hero Six, 
the kid hero makes Baymax's armor from the same technology that's available uh, at Case Western Reserve. It ain't, they even got a, uh, at Tri-C, they got a, a fabrication laboratory where you can, it, I, you could put a mug into the sparrow scanner on one side, and then on the other side, it's being fabricated. Duplicate. Yeah, they, they have, they have one. I think, uh, I think it's, it's had by a, the school of, um, the STEM school that's quote unquote sponsored by Ohio State. Yeah. Uh, so I know they have one there. Um, Shoot. Ohio State. Prop- is, but go ahead. Yeah, the thing is that when they had these fabrication laboratories, man, a lot of times they'd be open to the public if you learn how to use them. Uh huh. So, yep. yeah. And so you're talking about those Jinyame, uh, the, keychains and whatnot and mm-hmm. you know i've been on it for a minute trying to figure out like what kind of medallion you know what i mean and, and things like that we could we could be able to create to, to show our our sense of community you know that's true um, man. and you know they cheap enough to buy now you know what i mean not the industrial yeah. but they have ones where you could go and pump out a few things before it breaks down um so we got somebody else calling mm-hmm. in at uh um, nine four zero. Who is this? Quasi Low. What's up, Quasi? What's, what's up? What's up? The family what's in the house. I was Sister who, who, Tracy called in and put the call out. Huh? What'd you say? Go ahead. Sister Tracy put the call out and say, "Where everybody at?" And the whole family pop up. Hold on, Cleveland. Cleveland. Hey, man, we got them white butterflies out here eating up our shit, man. What? The white butterflies out here eating up our shit. Those are mom. Yeah, that motherfucker, he been over there. He been grubbing on them goddamn... Get, chase that nigga away. I mean, I ain't... What? White butterflies say, what, can a brother eat? Hey, big brother Kwame, what's happening, sir? It's all good, bro. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. Living this beautiful day. I heard that. Yeah, <clears throat> just leave that open. Oh, so. yeah, Brother Quaid. Yeah, how, how, how's our sister, Tiandra, doing? I haven't talked to Tiandra in a couple weeks. Uh, all right. Yeah. At least you talked to her in the last couple of weeks, you know. Look, you know, we got family we ain't heard from in a minute. And so, true. you know, I'm just asking about, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that's, she's been in my mind. So that's that's something I need to reach out. So my energy coming back because y'all all calling in and checking in and shit. I'm starting to feel. I'm, I, but I'm down. You know what I'm saying? I'm down to my fighting weight. Last time I weighed myself, I started off, I was at 170. I, when I started... This is the first week when I started. Where did I put that in? Oh, I put that on my phone. I was about 176. Um, last time I checked, I was about one, close to 170 after that first week. But I weighed myself within this week, and I was down to 160. Right? So, I'm, you know what I'm saying? So, last time, I went down to about 140. I don't think I'm going to get down that far this much because I'm not trying to lose that weight. But I'm allowing my body to cleanse. But anyway, um, I think I, I'm feeling good right now. Y'all got me hyped up. I think I might be at the Peron tomorrow. You know? Shit. Well, brother, check this out. Check this out. Ever since uh, Sister Christine turned, uh, turned us on to that, uh, basically various ways of eating kale and whatnot, man... Charlotte been hooking me up with kale almost daily. Mm. Over the over the last three months, I've lost twenty five pounds. I'm down to my high school graduating weight. Bro. Go ahead, dude. Go ahead. And of course, I'm gonna incorporate that. And I also have I have a new morning meal today. Now, one of the things I'm working on today is because y'all know I like the fermented food. So I'm not gonna go out and buy a whole bunch of stuff because my money is low right now. But what I am going to ferment today is eggs. 
I'm gonna boil the eggs and I'm gonna ferment them oh, for my, my breakfast, huh? Man, I had one of those last time I was there with you, Hot Tim. And let me just say something. Go ahead. It was not. It was not what I expected. <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. I don't know whether to. I don't know whether to laugh or to be mad. Man, I swear. You know what? I, I felt like I felt like you was Joe Rogan, and this was Fear Factor. Like he's this hundred year old egg. <laughs> I'm like, all oh, right. You know, hey, I can. You got a serious brother like me. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it different this time. It's gonna be all ambrosia. I'm not. I'm not. Wait, what, so what, so what do you think, uh, uh, Shock? That's what, what I'm saying. You, you know what it was. You know what it is. You know that. Listen, I've had I've had the red pickled eggs before, so it wasn't a, a total shock. Um, uh, I think it was the texture, I Tim, because it was a little bit more solid than a pickled egg. Um. And uh, and I was I was looking for that that pickled bite, and it was just a whole different sensation. I wasn't ready for it. You still ain't answered the man. When you, you said it out loud, I'm like, oh, oh, oh that, okay. <laughs> you still ain't answered the man's question. <laughs> Look, bro, that's what the friend slips so <laughs> Hey, I'm just telling you, no, man. When he, brought the, when he brought the bottle, look, look, Hot Tim brought the whole jar of the eggs, and, and he was looking so happy, and, and like I was like, all right. I got it. And then I, I, I took a closer look. I'm like, man, this stuff floating around in there. And everything. Like, you know, the gym, we got stuff floating. But he put some stuff. Right. What what'd you, what'd you put in there? I had it. That was it, floating around. Um, it was um, some type of herb. I can't remember. I mean, it's, it's, I had herbs. Did it, what, did it what? Did it take the film off of the... Uh, the uh, <laughs> The egg or the shell or what? Oh no no, it's out the shell. The eggs are out the shell, and I just I just put them into a jar. And the the method I used last year was I used uh, uh, dist- uh, distilled water or, or spring water and salt, Him- Himalayan salt, and then like I'll put other herbs in there for flavors that I like. I'll put some cayenne in there, and some other stuff, and just let it sit. So then, when I bring oh. it out, I got that I got the flavor on the egg that I want. Now, because I do it myself and I'm not using vinegar, the the egg take oh. on a different consistency oh. because you don't need vinegar to pickle. That's one of the things that people don't understand about fermented food. You don't need anything special to ferment. All you need is pure water and salt. So you can make your own pickles. You can make your own kimchi. You can make your own, and all these foods are good, especially for your system. Because what it does, the bacteria and yeast that's, that, that are allowed to be in that help digest the food so it makes more of the nutrients available to you because it has been pre-digested by the bacteria and yeast. So once, once again, your system get a break, then your system get exposed to healthy bacteria and yeast that are basically there to serve your body. You know what I'm saying? And you know, so now this time what I'm gonna do is I got some I got some older ambrosia. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna steam the eggs, cool them off, allow the, the skin to separate, um, pick the shell off and put them in a jar, but instead of using salt and water, I'm gonna use straight ambrosia. So I even know how you said you said you were said you were going to steam them rather than boil them. Well, I mean, I like I, I'm um, one of the things as far as as far as what I do is I use steamers a whole lot, so uh, it's easier for me to steam it. You know, I got kids because anything can happen. I might have to leave. Uh, my child might be acting up, and I might have to deal with them. And if I got something on the stove, the stove don't automatically cut off like the steamer. So the right. steamer gives me a, a, a certain amount of flexibility. You can make fish with it. You could do chicken. If you eat chicken, you can steam your chicken. Right. You I know mean, what I'm saying? You could do all kinds of vegetables. Kind oh, of man, thing. shit. All my vegetables I, I, are steamed. I, 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 all my beans are steamed. You know what I'm saying? All, all the, my, my diet, is when I'm in control of what I'm eating, a lot of my stuff is steamed. So, um, 
and and was was what was what I like about the steaming process is that the steaming process it doesn't kill everything. You understand? Mm -hmm. It doesn't. So mm -hmm. so the beans, like for example, when you're doing lentils, one of the things you notice about the lentils when you're steaming them, you'll start seeing some of the lentils actually take sprout during the process. So when you put them in there, you just got dry lentils. But when you come back after about an hour, because you only have to steam them for an hour, you'll start noticing that certain um, certain parts of the uh, cer certain lentils have already started sprouting, which is real good for you because. So, so, go ahead. So that is a, so when we want to speed up our uh, growing process, we can steam some of this stuff and then plant it. I don't know about that. I ain't. I don't get. Don't get me lying. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I see. You know. I mean, maybe that. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the being that's given. What, maybe that's the being experiment. just giving up life. For, that's a, yeah, that's an experiment for a future. Thing. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But yo, the beans. You can steam the beans and all that stuff. And, and it's, it's you know, and, and it's 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 it's, it's, it's sort of mm -hmm. like a um, one of those slow cookers your grandma used to have. If you, if you don't, if you never had mm -hmm. one. Those those uh, oh, crock pots, the rice cooker, like my mama used to have. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, rice cooker. Okay. How about how about the crock pot? Right. Right. Crock, crock pot. Pressure pressure cooker. Uh, Ooh, pressure. He said pressure cooker. Man, those things used to scare the hell out of me. With good, with good reason. <laughs> they with good reason. Yeah. So yeah, so I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff on there. But Quasi, you called in. What's up, man? He might just be listening in. Yeah, I'm I'm over my cousin's house. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just listening, man. Y'all talking about like diets and everything? Oh man, all types of like, stuff. The... There's no no such subject. It's toast and talk. Whatever y'all bring to the table, we got it. Hey, so let me, I, I, I got a question for y'all. I heard Kwame talking about the kale, and the first thing that came on my head is, you know, I need to be eating more greens. And then on top of that, uh, I need to incorporate turmeric to the, to the highest level. Mm -hmm. Like, what is a comp, what, what is an effective amount of turmeric, would you say, uh, I ain't talking about just to put in a dish, but to consume on a on well, the. Uh, I haven't heard of any. Rate. I haven't heard of any negative effects. So until you get tired of it, mm -hmm. you understand what I'm saying? Just okay. do. It. I mean, <clears throat> because with, with all things, all things, Mazia Mazia told me a long time ago. Um, one of my Jamaican brothers, he said, "Too much of one thing is good for nothing." So with a lot of stuff that we do, we got to make sure that we take a break every now and then. Even, you know, I'm, I'm brewing ambrosia. Sometimes I have to like this 21 day fast allows me to take breaks, if nothing but for a week from certain things. So we got to do everything in moderation. So, you know, I mean, use turmeric, you use turmeric for a time and then you stop. And then you start back up right. when, 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 when you receive the call to do it again. But we got an unknown caller on the line. Who's this unknown caller? How you doing? Welcome. Hey, it's Kim. What's uh oh. Up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Kim from Wazadugu. Burkina Faso. What's going on? What's going on in the motherland? Uh, we we hanging in there. It's uh the weather is better. It's not as hot as it was, and the rain is starting. So it's actually the weather is really nice. Mm. Are wow. you? Because last time I spoke to you, you said something about Senegal. Yeah, I'm going to Senegal next week. Next oh. Saturday, I'll be flying, out. and oh. I'll be in Senegal until uh, mid August. I mean, is this like Ooh. a vacation, or are you going there for an assignment, or what's what's popping off? Uh, my husband is there, so I have I have a place there, so oh, okay. I'm I'm kind of going home. Okay. Okay. Wow, you yeah, know, uh, I'm going home. My wife may be coming to Senegal in December. Um, well, 
it, it still remains to be seen, but uh, hopefully we can get her to uh, Senegal in December. Her dance oh. troupe, she has a West African dance troupe that uh, was started by a Senegalese brother. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Abdul Kunta. Cool. Huh? His name was Abdul Kunta, right? Absolutely. It was my okay. world, world renowned. Yeah. Just let us know. I in December I I'm planning on going to the United States for uh winter break in December. Um, but I don't know. My hopefully my husband will come too. But it depends on when in December. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So but yeah, yeah so I got one more week here in Wagadougou with Burkina Faso, and then I'll be. Is school out for y'all? Is school out for y'all? No, we. No, we have one more week. We end on the Friday. Okay. Okay. All right. So. So we so you you know we international now. So we got a we got brothers from here Columbus. We got a Cleveland, and we got a sister calling in from Wagadougou. Tribe is growing. Yeah. Everything is going good. Any subjects that anybody want to want, want to sit up there and, and tackle right now? We got the mind. We got the mind power to solve all world issues right now. So let's go and solve the problem. I had a question. I had a question. How many of us in there uh, on the line have heard the the? I think it's called the talking drum. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 So at my at my uh, wife were. Um, Chasson's last, uh, what was it, their spring, their spring showing, um, one of the brothers from Senegal was playing the talking drum, mm -hmm. and that was my first time hearing it, <laughs> I was like, uh, or at least my first time hearing it, in, you know, uh, for true or, or in reality, um, or in real time, I guess I should say. Um, and shoot, man, I was just like, oh, wow. Because <laughs> it actually talks. Yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 you that's, that's a good drummer. Kwame, have you touched one? Say that again. Have you touched the talking drum? No. No. Okay. Uh, you, uh, you, you understand how it makes the sound and it makes it. I know um, it's so. I know uh, the brother has a strap around his shoulder, um, and he's holding the drum under his his arm, or if you will. Yeah. Right. And he's beating it with a stick, but he's he squeeze. I I think it has like uh, strings or something around yeah, it. Right. The tension, the tension string. Yeah, tension strings to. Squeeze it in order to uh, modulate the sound, <laughs> and instead of a, a regular mallet, it's it's like a crook. It is. That's true. Okay. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it is a fascinating instrument. Yes, it is. It is. That's true. That is so well, true. Well, here's the resident expert now, Miss Charlotte Horton. Teacher with the West African dance troupe, Chasan. What's up? You online, girl? What's going on? A little bit. Hey, babe. Now, what does Chasan mean for our... It means roots of culture and tradition. Don't be shy. You, got, you couldn't hear that. You got it. And, and that's in the uh, Wolof language for, you know... Oh, it's in Wolof? Yes. What is it? Say the word again. Choisan. You said choisan. 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 That's a Wolof word. Yes. Yes. That's what we was told. <laughs> no, this, no. Keep in mind that this is coming. It was named by Papa Abdukunta. <laughs> I know. Yeah. And the, uh, I'm just bragging. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey nothing wrong with that, man. 
<laughs> when you got when, when it's when it's good, it's good to go on and acknowledge that it's good. But shoot, um, uh, so I right, obviously y'all don't want to solve no world issues. So, and I got some articles I could bring up, but I'm not gonna do that right now. We can save it for. So, go ahead. Okay, so this is a uh, this is expansive, I guess. Um, so me playing this villain has allowed people to become more transparent with me, <laughs> and <laughs> and what has come out is that um, people identify my way of thinking as a cult leader. As a cult leader? Right. Okay. Now, and like I said, this is expansive. My question is, if I look at the plans of bringing bringing a a residential uh, place for an, an artist, society that has a very specific healing arts and solution based media is that a cult and if so hold on and if so would that residential environment be a plantation no Mm -hmm. all right see because you you made you made a crucial jump you moved from a cult to yep. slavery, they don't. Right. They don't necessarily go hand in hand. W- w- what right. is what is cult? The root word for brother. Culture. Okay. Right. And it, and both of those come. Both those words, in a sense, come from tilling the earth. Now, I got a question for you. Is Microsoft a cult? Yes. Yeah. Is, is Google a cult? Yeah, to believe. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. All right. Oh. How about Amazon? And, and yes, and yes, and yes, and yes. Uh, uh, Apple. Yes, Apple. Oh, definitely Apple. <laughs> They're cults. See, what we got to understand is we get scared of words because the way cult has been used on us, it has been to mm. our detriment. And what we have to understand, because right. that's, gotta... that's that's why I said I said plantation, because when I said plantation, we automatically went slave. Right. And at the, at the end of the day, is a plantation a bad thing? If I took Central High School and said, you know what, this is the Black Phoenix plantation now, and we're 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 cropping uh, hibiscus and and um, we got our our, our honey bees here, and we're we you know we we're branding. Uh, products and services for the healing arts and, and solution based media. Is that that would be that would be rather stupid, brother. Listen to me. Why would right. you brand why would you brand it with a name that will be associated immediately with what yeah. you don't want? You understand what I'm saying? Right. So it's like I mean because yeah. because think about this. Is the is the nation of Islam a cult? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> one, of, one of the key pieces that we're missing in all of our movements is this whole idea of building culture. See, if you just if you just leave it if you just leave it where um, um, regular people think about cult, then of course it's going to be it's going to be misconstrued. But you have to think about it on a no. whole other level because the culture well, the culture provides. The 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 picture. I, my mind is moving slow. The culture provides the template in teaching people how to think. So you can have a negative cult, and you can also have a positive cult, right? But right. both of them mm-hmm. develops a culture that moves people on. The whole ADOS movement. Mm-hmm. The whole when when people talk about the ADOS thing, in, in a sense. That's a that's a that's a cult. That's a that's that's a group of individuals that decided we are going to formulate a culture, and until they until they move to a critical piece and be recognized, then people will always be like, "Oh, that's that's cult like behavior." But the Republican Party is a cult. No, right. the Democratic no, Party no, is a cult. No, no, no. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, quick point. Quick point. Because uh, what you're saying has truth to it, but. 
the part that's missing, it may be alluded to from what you're saying, but to make it really clear, the idea of a cult is coming from the old cult. And the idea of the old cult is that which is his unknown to outsiders. And so oh. when you get, but again, I mean, what Hatim is saying is true, but it may gloss over the fact that it's the idea that what goes on in here, Cosa Nostra, uh, <laughs> Ket in Pin, uh -oh. Um, uh -oh. you know, this our thing. And what is our thing, you outsiders don't need to know. Right. Right. So that's that's right. what the, uh, so there's the idea of the, the, the cult in terms of culture. And, uh, and, and I, I, would, I, angels is a cult to a certain degree, but they're open with their shit. Right. They, they tell you where they're coming from. They tell you what they're coming for. So, there's very little oh. hidden there. And so That's true. Or Did you say angels? Or no, ADOS. So in the ADOS, A D O S. In the sense that they're establishing a culture from the sense of look, damn it, we're looking at this as descendants of people who were taken as prisoners here as uh, enslaved people here, um, however you want to reference it, as those people, as descendants of those people, we're coming for our, as Martin Luther King said, we're mm. coming from, we're coming for our check. Right, right. Now, you remember back in the day, maybe some 20 years ago, they, they had this big thing on Dateline about people in the airport getting their wings and they're and they taking these little wings and gathering them together going right. to other, other part of the society just like uh, I was watching this one show if y'all watched The Shy and a one cop he was he was flashbacking to when his partner had shot a black man and his partner looked at him and, and was just like hey you know in, in, in Latin was like uh, brothers in blue you with me you know what I mean and it's like you have these Fraternal bond. And I guess before I even ask the question, I guess fraternity in itself is cold. Yes. Um. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So I guess my major, well, flipping it back and and not going back into the slavery thing, but then the idea of plantation. Do plant do, number one. Do plantations still exist? And number two, which ones do we do, which ones do we see and not and just not call it a plantation? When we look at Fortune five hundred companies, when we look at these. <laughs> That's why they don't call them plantations, I, homie. Yeah. I think plantations they exist. Plantations work. I mean, they work very well. Yeah, so they do. Right. Something that works. Of course they exist. Right. 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 They wouldn't do that. It worked too well. And, uh, I mean, because if you look at a lot of practices that a lot of these jobs use anyway, a lot of these practices mm -hmm. came yeah. up out of slavery. You know what I'm saying? That's, as you it start sure getting did. into the history, you'd be like, damn, all this shit, all, you know, the, the whole people management piece came out of <laughs> them working with us. So, yes, the plantation exists. We call them jobs now. You know what I'm saying? Or job places. <laughs> and schools. We and schools. Wow. So when you... Jobs, wow. And, 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 and print, yeah. So we, um, so, but, but it's all in the labeling. You have to, you have to be, you have to be careful in the labeling because people with a surface knowledge especially especially being black you know what i'm saying they automatically right. look at our stuff in a different way people don't understand that that there takes a certain dedication in order to build a fortune 500 company you need a group of you need a group of individuals that are totally 100% behind 
what that idea is. I want you to imagine where Apple would be if they didn't have people sleeping in the office and working 18 to 20 hours a day and sleeping up under the desk and, 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 and that was totally dedicated to the growth of this thing. Same thing with Google, same thing with Amazon. You always have with these big companies, you have a core group of individuals who understand, as, as Kwame said, this is our thing. This is our thing. We take care of our thing. Our thing will take care of us. And they don't want us to get... Go ahead. I mean, you're right. But, you know, as a business person now, you know, my husband and I have been in business five years. And I've lived this struggle. And it's not just these exceptional examples of Apple and Amazon. Like, they're so exceptional when it comes to business. We shouldn't even use them as an example. I could dig that. Because... The regular people who go into business have to sacrifice so much. Literally, you have to sacrifice everything just to be sustainable. And especially if you're black. So we really don't understand the level of sacrifice people make just to have a regular mom and pop. That's very true. So let's 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 dial it back from the the big examples, and let's dial it to what it takes to actually have a mom and pops, right? Oh, a beauty shop. A How beauty shop. shop. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Now, one of the things that, that 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 and you know, people gonna get upset with me. One of the things that's missing is the cult or the culture of these places, because yeah. for us, they become yeah. nine to five. Yep. You see what I'm saying? So I just want to come in. I want to get paid. See, but when you look at these, when you look at the successful companies, they motivate something in people to be like, shit, I just want to be part of it. If I get paid, it's a bonus. Yep. You understand what I'm saying? And and that that that's what that's what we're missing in many in many cases, especially with our businesses, because boom, because then, for example, and you told me not to use Apple because, but one piece that I want to use with Apple is that Apple customers are willing to pay a higher amount because they are allowed to be in the know. Black folks, we look at paying a higher price to our own selves, like ah, no, 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 no. But if we would kind of get people to change the perspective, look, this is what we up against. This is our thing, so we have to pay a premium. You have to make. That's why in Giami, one of the major lessons is the, those uh, three of the three of the pillars: honor, loyalty, and sacrifice. Sacrifice being one of the major pieces. Right. A lot of people don't right, want. Right. People don't understand that whole piece. Hey, because I'm a, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. When it comes to community and it comes to man, I, I, I came to a level where it's like people stop telling me no when I ask for things. Right. However. When all I had was me and no babysitter or whatnot, and I'd go out for some babysitters, people wouldn't tell me no. But then they'd be like, uh, $50 a day. I'm like, $50 a day? What kind of job do you think I'm going to? I'm Ubering, motherfucker. You know what I mean? But it's, it's, it's uh, I don't know. Maybe that's just a me thing. I've never paid $50 a day for a babysitter, let alone to a stranger that I really didn't know the service that they would provide for real. Like, if I was going to pay $50 a day to watch my son, uh, you got to have some kind of document on the wall certifying that. You know what I mean? I don't know. To me, that's what it is. I just have never been asked. But who provides that document you on the wall? I understand. I well, well, I guess what I'm saying is, is that like when it comes to... Uh, uh, wow. I think I lost myself in that whole thing. No, so check uh, it out. So First of all, you have to give the age of your, you know, your son... And then uh, the hours that they would be watching him. And that uh, gives a better perspective of uh, what the charge is. So, for example, you know, way back when I was in my 20s, my old, uh, one of my older brothers 
had a son that he took to uh, this white woman. Uh, not sure why, but, well, no, I know why, but that's another story. So, took to this white woman. And I was going to pick him up one day, and I was given a check to pay the woman, right? Mm -hmm. And they were given something like, I mean, when he was a baby. I mean, that's damn near like a, it was some ungodly amount uh, for a week time. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, ungodly, man. Um, and then, uh, you know, as he got older, you know, be, uh, right before he started in the school, I mean, it lessened, but <laughs> it never fell below like uh, easily. You know, they must have been paying somewhere almost about whew, somewhere about four hundred dollars uh, a week. Yeah. That's not that's I mean, not that's not that's not unheard of today, man. That's reasonable. No, that that's reasonable. Look, 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 I'm fifty three now, bro. That was thirty years ago. You hear me? Yeah. yeah, I, heard, yeah. 30 years. I heard you. You ain't gotta be yelling. Right. I heard you. You know all aggressive. <laughs> and I and heard you Kim, where I'm coming from is you know, you got somebody to try, maybe a teenager who is at home anyway, and I dropped my son off, who is pretty much, I mean, hi, Tim, you've been with, with, with Pharaoh before. He's pretty much independent in his own thing. He might ask for something out the fridge or whatever, but $20 a day, I'm good with that. $100 a week if I had to be out working like that. Um, for a teenager, that's cool. From, and, and to jump from there into, all right, well, now she's not available, so let me see what else is out here. And I'm getting, mm -hmm. and I'm getting the fifty dollars a day from stranger situation. I'm like, you know, for me, uh, I need more of that thing, and you know, from from my nuclear setting. But the fact that I didn't have that, it made me mm -hmm. kind of look sideways at that price. Like, what exactly is he getting? Fifty dollars a day, like, you know what I mean? So that's where I was at, and especially in the sense mm -hmm. that. I might go out and only make $50 that, you know, and Uber is like taxi and you really don't know what you're going to come home right, with. Right. You know what I mean? Or, and so, uh, so, yeah. So, yeah. The, the, you're right. Uh, no, I agree with you. Um, you're talking about the price of child care. The cost of child care has risen, risen drastically when you have to go to strangers. It's, it's unattainable yeah. for some people. no, I mean, you, I agree with you on that. I think that child care has been an issue, like um, you guys said, since for 30 years, you know. It's been, as my eldest child is 25, and I'm also, I'm 54. Um, so I had to deal with child care expenses with her as well. Um, Sidebar, when, when's your birthday, Sister Kim? October, October, um, yeah. Okay. October, October 1965. Man, my nephew's birthday is October 19th. Oh, so am I. October 19th, 1965. One of those Libras. You know, Pharaoh's October 25th. One of those Libras. Keep in mind, I got, look, keep in mind, I got about 50 something nieces and nephews. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it was, wow. the, the, the statistics is working for them. But the, you know, but the, the the whole, the whole. Now, one of the things that my wife did was when she came here, she kind of established relationships with her community, far as yep. far as the Ghanaians, man. And it's like, yo, childcare, we pay, but it wasn't childcare was never really an issue for us. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, right. yo, and and between my mom and and some of the people that she was working with. I mean, we was playing, I mean, mm -hmm. I used to, because I used to tell my wife, I said, listen, you know, she'd be like, she would complain about how much the woman was charging. I said, listen, you need to send her a little bit extra because if we get out here and get some real child care, you're going to understand. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. You understand, you know, but you know, like I said, that's that's neither here nor there because, you know, they don't listen to me until. But no, Hatim, it's actually, you tapped into something. 
you tapped into the difference oh. between an immigrant community and our community. Mm-hmm. Because That's it. my husband also That's an it. immigrant, and we were fortunate. We brought his mother to the United States, mm-hmm. and um, she got her green card. And she lived with us for 15 years. So she helped me raise my kids. So I'm, yeah, I will be grateful forever, and I loved her for that. And she didn't ask for some money, but we just bought her gifts. We took her on vacations. We treated her very well. But we, as American descendants of slaves, us and our current generation, we didn't have that tax. We didn't have that. We didn't have the big mama who's at home all the time keeping right. everybody's kids and just mm-hmm. give her what right. she to give her. Like mm-hmm. our parents Bam. had to have, like my mother didn't have to deal with that. Yeah. But I did, but I could tap into the immigrant situation with my mother-in-law. But that is yeah. another thing that ABOS don't have, and we got to pay that recent immigrants. You, you know, you, you, made, you make a very valid point because my grandmother raised all seven of her kids. And mm-hmm. when they had kids, which was me and my generation, she raised us. She had uh, yep. seven or seven or eight of us living in her house all at the same time. When mm-hmm. my dad was in the Air Force and working at power plants, I lived in Cleveland Heights with my grandmother. When she passed yep. away, that whole position passed away. Aunties mm-hmm. and uncles yeah. had a price. You know what I mean? They had their own plot in to them. And um, yep. we still we got them. I had I had this I had this conversation with my dad um, not too long ago. I said the difference between me and you is you had mama. Yep. I don't have somebody to drop Pharaoh off to, to to go out and grind the way that I can. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Now it's a it's a blessing. It's a blessing that I do now. It's a blessing that you know my twenty year old is is now in the household with us and. Man, I'm going to tell y'all something, I, and, and I, I very rarely speak of, of this, um, but I've been reunited with my daughter after 16 years of estrangement. She's the reason why I started the Black Phoenix Movement, right? And for her at 20, being in the household and, and, and meeting for the, and for the first time, Pharaoh, her eight-year-old daughter, I mean, they're like, they've known each other forever. Like their uh, knees, they, they, they thicker a little bit, but they're separate. The, the wave of consciousness and creativity that's going through my house on an everyday basis, man, I'm pitiful. There's, there's such abundance in my life right now. I, I just had to express that because, you know, this is, this is a, a saga that y'all ain't heard from. Uh, mm. And, mm-hmm. and, you know, and I tell this is a soccer you ain't seen in, in some 16 years. It's like, now I know that my children are protected and, and that I have, you know, a place in their life to be in. And every day when Diamond wakes up, you know, she comes out with her book and I'm teaching a lesson after lesson. All the lessons that we've been backed up on, now it's like, you know, just this is what it is. And this is, uh, I don't know. It's, I just had to, I just had to interject and, and, and say that because right now, that's the one thing, you know, like, and I told my daughter, too. I said, you, you, uh, before she got here, I said, you are the most like my grandmother and anybody else in the family. So it's not mm-hmm. her spirit and, um, and all of that. And she was like, well, do you think that I could bring the family together? And, um, you know, just before her having um, that question on her, on her heart. I think that's, sure. that's that's part of the reason she hit. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. I feel you, girl. I feel you. Yeah. Now draw up your tears. This is a man show. Stop all that goddamn crying. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Dry it up. Look, bro. Look, bro. Look. Your tears, bro. A lot of babies. That's a hey, hey. So you cry on as you will. Hey, you got a point hey, there. Cry. Who cried? <laughs> we hear it in your voice, man. Ain't Stop nothing wrong with it. Like. I cry every now and then too. 
But hey, fam, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and get off of this. I gotta go out here because I'm seeing a bunch of white butterflies, and anytime there's a group of white anything, I get concerned. Um, <laughs> one of the lessons passed to me from my ancestors. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the next time, hey, the next time uh, you guys go get your hair cut. Ask your barber or whoever's running a particular barber shop, what master barber were they trained us? In, in Columbus? Ask them what that, yes. If they were trained in Columbus, and I think it's a, a I think it's a, I think it's an Ohio thing that if you're coming, let's say, from New York to Ohio, and you want to have your own shop, I think you have to, you know, do an apprenticeship under a master barber. So ask them who their master barber was. All right. Good. Now, and, and I say, and I leave it off at this. The reason I'm asking that question is because going back to what Sister Kim was talking about as far as us establishing our businesses and whatnot, I found the barber, you know, who was cutting me up the way I wanted to be cut up, right? And, uh, you know, for the most part at that time, I was just getting shaved anyway. But, you know, he was doing a really good job. And I was like, okay, so how long will it be before you have your, you know, your life statistics and all that stuff in order? He was like, well, uh, you know, I still got to finish up my apprenticeship under, uh, the our master barber. I was like, who's your master barber? He said, Mr. Brown. Y'all remember Mr. Brown? Uh-uh. He be on Cleveland. He was on mm. Cleveland that. Well, anyway, a lot of a lot of barbers were getting at one point. They were getting their uh, apprentice for him. Now he was a, uh, he's the only black barber I knew who, who was a master barber, but I'm sure there's others, but I'm just curious because the next thing I knew, that brother who, uh, had, you know, who was cutting my hair and stuff, I didn't find him anymore. And he couldn't, you know, he couldn't get the shot because of the problems he was having, you know, trying to finish his apprenticeship. Wow. But anyway. All right, family. One love. One love. All right, fam. Before we One move, love. before we get out, I'm gonna pay Black Airbenders, Rashawn, a salute to Rashawn Roland Kirk, right here, I, right r- from right here in Columbus, um, featuring Eddie Baird and Storm Nine Thousand. It's probably be my tenth time playing that on the show, but hey, I don't care.
family. That is the Black Airbenders. The track is called Rashawn, featuring Eddie Baird and Storm 9000. This will be available, I think, tomorrow on all places where you stream, all places where you buy your downloads. It will be available, you know. So, my only complaint is not long enough. I need at least a nine-minute song. I've been listening to Fela. I need some. I need it to be long, you know. But hey, hey, you still get the uh, uh, thumbs up from Giammy Journey, and I'm like, man, this is hot. This is hot. All right, so um, hold on. I can increase the quality. What? 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 Okay, I got it at the highest quality. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, all right. This is Brother Hotel. I want to remind you that you are now in the place where your, mu where your hustle builds muscle. You are amongst the stubborn minority within the congregation of the mighty. This is Giami Journey Media. This is a Heart of a Summer production, and we have done and we have killed another daily toast and talk. I love my family. All right. And we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. We out.